Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 cast by Glitch. Today, I'm going to be casting for you a TVP played on the North American ladder, spawning in the bottom right position of Belshir Vestige. As the Blue Terran, we have Drunken Boy. His opponent today, spawning in the top left position as the Red Protoss, is Ire. Now both of these players are very high ranked players, Ire is a high ranked masters player, and Drunken Boy, uh, for those of you who don't know him, he is a professional StarCraft player, not the top tier, but he's very very well known and well respected among the StarCraft community. He plays for the team FXO, so he actually is a very very good player, he is Grand Master, very very good StarCraft player who is, like I said, pretty well known among the StarCraft community, uh, most of the pros and things all know who he is. So, a um, couple of things before we get started in today's game. First of all, I haven't started two minute tutorials yet. Oh my god, I had the worst problems this whole past weekend trying to get two minute tutorials up and running. I've had all kinds of technical problems that I've been trying to work around. Um, I really want to do actual video of me talking. So I've had a lot of problems trying to get that to work in virtual dub and trying to get the recordings to work and trying to find software that'll record HD, uh, AVI files and all that kind of thing. So I've been having a lot of technical difficulties, but it's still coming. I promise. It's a series that I want to do. I've been writing down all kinds of notes for doing a good series on it. And I really want it to be a good series, but, and I was going to have a series out the first episode last Friday and it just, it just didn't come down. It just did not come down at all but hopefully I will get that up this week hoping I'm tomorrow I'm gonna try one more time I I actually managed to get it all up I recorded it and then when I tried to put it together it just it just didn't happen it just didn't happen virtual dub wouldn't let me do it the frame rates were all off and nothing was matching up so I tried to re-record everything I tried to change frame rates on things and I'm I'm just in the process of learning all this stuff so gonna have to uh, get back to that, but I promise it's coming. It's coming really, really soon. All right, so let's get into this game. First of all, Drunken Boy here. We've got opening with this barracks and gas opener. So yeah, most definitely gonna be seeing a Reaper coming out of here, and this is absolutely standard in this matchup. Now we're seeing something a little bit different from Ire. Ire opened up with a gateway into a double gas in which he's now only mining two guys on each gas. So this is going to get him a little bit more gas than normal, but it'll be interesting to see what exactly he's going to be doing with that. So this is a very, very strange opening here for Ire. Gateway into two gas and then into that cybernetics core. Um, so far, most likely going to be seeing both these players opening up into, uh, into a very fast expansions. Very, very normal in this matchup to do it off of just one racks or one gateway. So most likely going to be something we see, uh, we are going to see coming down. Now the one Reaper is out, going to try to get some kills in here. For now we have one Zealot out, and we're chrono boosting out a Stalker right now. So this is a very, very normal opening, Zealot, Stalker. Very normal for a lot of Protoss players to do this, be able to pick off that SCV. And now with this Stalker, he's also going to be able to hold off that Reaper. Uh, wherever that Reaper may actually be, there he is. He's in the natural expansion right now, going to be poking up there very shortly. But Drunken Boy actually followed this up with a reactor, and he's now going into double marine production, as well as a command center and a factory. And there we go. This With this Reaper, he's going to be able to get that scout off, and maybe pick off um, a probe. If you can get the probe, it's nice, but at this point, this Reaper is giving him full vision of what his opponent is doing. He's It allows him to check if this Nexus is going down. This is the most important thing right now. So, um, there's a very natural order for the TVZ matchup, and that's kind of that Terrans are generally opening a lot with this Reaper. This Reaper allows them to get into their opponent's base really, really fast, find out what they're doing, and allows them to be really, really safe to throw down this fast command center. Protoss, on the other hand, kind of just sit back, defend, get out this early Stalker, this early Zealot, are able to defend against the Reaper. Um, any kind of early attacks can generally be defended with this gateway, and if they need to, they can get up the early Mothership Core to really be able to defend off a whole lot of attacks here. So generally, this matchup opens with the Terran player kind of get having to get the scout off, and then both players kind of opening into their uh, natural expansions, and then that's when things kind of 
kind of get mixy. Usually Terrans, it's up to the Terrans to be a little bit more aggressive to try to put some pressure on their opponents until their opponents can get out a little bit higher tech, either Colossi or Templar, and then the Protoss have a big strong army that they get to kind of push out and push out onto the map and take a little bit of map control with. So we're going to have to see what's going down here. But what we're seeing from Drunken Boys, we're seeing a really, really fast starport and a really fast factory. A couple of Hellions coming down here for Terran. And this is exactly what I was talking about. And so he's going to be trying to apply some pressure on his opponent, whereas our Protoss friend, Ayer, is just going to be trying to defend. Be very, very defensive and try to get this base, uh, two bases up and running. This is very, very normal the way this matchup works uh, very commonly. So as you can see, Ayer doing a very, very normal thing taking his Nexus, going up to three gateways, and a robotics facility. This is super, super normal for this matchup. And now he's just going to be trying to get up a lot of probes while he tries to defend. So as we can see, three sentries now out on the field. Couple of Hellions now coming out as well here for Drunken Boy. We do see two more Hellions up on the way as well, and oh, we do now see the Armory coming down. And anytime you see an Armory coming down this early, in this matchup, or in any matchup in general, this is almost a sure sign that we are going to see some Hellbats coming up here. This early of a Hellbat... Uh, oh, we actually do see a drop actually going down in the main here of Ayer. Looks like he's going to be able to warp in some Stalkers here, and I think with these uh, four Stalkers he's going to be able to hold this off. But oh, he's actually getting quite a bit of damage done here, and oh, these Hellions coming up from the natural expansion here, and it looks like he's actually going to be forced to have to pull back, and now these drones going to have to... or these probes, rather, going to have to get away from these Hellions. These Hellions do three-shot workers, so they're going to have to get a couple of rounds of shots off if they're going to want to kill a lot there, but oh... Oh, needs to be really, really careful there. Drunken Boy continuing to try to deal some damage here with these uh, Marines, and... Oh, looks like he's going to be okay here. He's not going to lose too many more workers, but he's already lost quite a few workers. Eight workers lost so far to this early harass here. Continuing to deal damage with these Hellions. Oh, getting a lot more kills than he should have uh, there. I really think that that was a little bit of a micro mistake there by Ayer. I don't think that that should have done as much damage as it did, but now if we check out the Harvester count, 35 Harvesters to the 42 of Drunken Boy, and yes, Ayer realizing that his micro was not quite what it should have been there, but as we can see, the first two Hellbats are out, as well as the Medivac, and that's going to start to move across the map right now, and there's actually, that's going to make for two Medivacs out, and so this is really, really strong. This is something that's really, really strong. These Hellbats do a ton of damage right now, and here we go, two of them being dropped down here into the main second one, not quite out yet. But uh, these two units getting quite a bit of damage done here, forcing that uh, Photon Overcharge going down here. And it looks like with that, he's going to be able to pick off the rest of those Hellbats. But in the meantime, that second Hellbat coming into that main base going to start to drop. And yes, those Hellbats dropping down. And nice pull of the probes there. Managed to get out of there. And he didn't even get any uh, workers at all. But he's getting a nice little scout here. Seeing the Double Forge going down as well as the Robotics was uh, the robotics base, so he's going to know that he's going up against Colossi here very soon. That medevac is going to get out, having denied some mining time there, and no loss there for Drunken Boy with that particular medevac. In the meantime, behind this, the third command center is going down, as well as a whole lot of barracks going down in the main of Drunken Boy, so it looks like he's going to be transitioning into bioplay. So again, it's going to be up to Drunken Boy to continue to try to put pressure on his opponent until Iyer can get up a good number of uh, units, as well as Colossi, and once those Colossi are out, It'll be Ayer's turn to try to come and attack and deal some damage there back at Drunken Boy. Just dropping those units straight down into that uh, natural expansion there. And it looks like that is going to be cleaned up fairly easily here. Not having done too much damage, but... Ooh, man, 17 total workers killed. That's a lot of workers killed so far for Drunken Boy. So he's in a fantastic spot right now. 48 Harvesters to 45. And this is not where Ayer wants to be. As a Protoss player, you want to be up ahead of your opponent in, food, in uh, worker count because... Terrans have mules, so you want to have been chrono boosting on those probes, and you want to be up in workers on your opponent so that it makes up for the fact that your opponent has mules. Your chrono boost has to offset those mules. So as we can see, Drunken Boy preparing to take a third here, and in the meantime, drops continuing to go down there. He needs to be a little bit careful. He's being a little bit careless with these drops, but there is one going in the back of the main as well here, and oh, 
Oh, he looks like he's trying to pick off a couple of sentries here, and oh, if he gets those sentries, it's going to be really good. In the meantime, drop going down in the main. There are three stalkers here that should be okay to clean this up. Uh, Blink stalkers should be pretty good at being able to micro out there. He does not quite pick up those, and oh, oh no, what is going on here? But those stalkers are attacking the Nexus while these uh, Hellbats are continuing to get more damage done to those, and oh no, this is horrible for Ire, and oh god, there he realizes his mistake as his three stalkers were just sitting there attacking the Nexus while both of these Hellbats, one with eight kills, one with 11 kills, is able to get a ton more worker kills there. That is a huge loss for Ire. Oh no. I are just falling apart. His micro just not where it should have been here in this game. 36 harvesters to 59 of Drunken Boy, who is about to be on three bases. And I are seeing all of this with the Observer. In the meantime, Drunken Boy going into a full set of bio units right now. Lots of bio units coming up. Plus one, plus one is down. Looks like plus two, plus two is just going to be uh, started researching here. Medivac's going to be starting to come down here. So looks like he's going to be trying to take his third here, but this is a very, very bold third here from Iyer. Because um, as we can see in the food count, 66 supply to the 122 supply of Drunken Boy. He's on full Marine Marauder Hellbat production right now. Um, lots of medevacs out on the field currently looks like on the unit counting station we currently see five medevacs out on the field and all that Iyer has at this point is he's got one colossus and a few sentries he's got a good number of gateways up and he's got some upgrades going down is this pl this is plus two plus two now coming down for his units but it looks like drunken boy deciding to move out right now he's got a lot of units moving out across the field right now and he's going to try to go straight for that third he wants to force a cancel on that third and keep his third up and mining and i just don't think there's a whole lot Iyer can do he's made so many mistakes in the micro up till now that drunken boy is just going to be in a fantastic spot to come here and deal lots of damage whoa medevac's actually going a little bit forward into the natural there it needs to be pulling forward. That's actually a nice little move there by Drunken Boy. Because these medevacs can always use their afterburners to get out, he can use them to kind of scout ahead and then afterburn back if they get into any kind of trouble and it gives them that early scout. But oh, looks like there is one Colossi here, but it's going to fall very, very quickly as the unit's coming in from the back right now. He needs to get some really, really darn good force fields off here if he wants to deal the damage. This Colossus does not even have its extended thermal lance yet, so he's going to be able to just gun that down right away. Not even going to be able to stay out of range there. No force fields even going down there and Ire just completely completely collapsing to that play by Drunken Boy, and this was just complete, complete and total domination here by Drunken Boy. 182 supply to the 31 of Ire. I definitely did not expect that game to be that one-sided, but Ire just missed micro that all over the place. He's asking any advice on how to hold that aggression, and he's just got a micro better. I think that he was just in... He wasn't in a bad spot to hold off those uh, builds, but or to hold off that kind of aggression. But I mean, Hellbat drops are really, really strong right now. Hellbat drops are really strong. Even Terran players are complaining that Hellbat players are too strong right now. These Hellbat drops um, are just really, really strong. These Hellbat drops deal so much damage, both in the Z TV X matchup, but also just in TBT. In TBT also, hell drops are just so strong right now because it's such a small investment. These hell bats are 200 minerals. That's all that these hell bats cost is just 200 minerals and you can usually get out with your medevac. And if you drop, you usually instantly get at least, you know, eight or nine worker kills. So it's so worth it to do for Terran players to do. So a lot of people predict that there will be nerfs incoming on those hell bats, but these are the kind of games that you want to study. As a Terran player, these are the kind of games that you want to study because you want to play like this. You want to have these games where you are just winning this game with this kind of a lead. So this is absolutely a fantastic played game here by Drunken Boy and a uh, style that you should all try to copy on that ladder because it is quite strong. If you get in there with those Hellbat drops, it just messes up everybody and they panic under the pressure. And as you can see, even this Masters level player was having a lot of trouble. That that <laughs> misfire on the Nexus there was absolutely huge. So I hope you guys enjoyed that game. If you did, please hit that like button, that subscribe button. And that's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I promise very, very soon you will see two minute tutorials on my channel. Damn it, I will get those out. Thanks for watching, guys. Glitch out.